Happy Wednesday, everybody. We are under that ABC 7 first alert. And as you can see, the winds are starting to pick up across the area. Nearly 40 mile per hour wind gusts across El Paso and Deming. Las Cruces right at 35 miles per hour right now. And these winds are going to stick around for the next couple hours and next couple of days as well. So the winds are picking up now. They're going to stay for tomorrow. Rain chances will actually start to increase tonight. Those will last all the way through Sunday. And then a cold front is going to move through on Friday morning. That's really going to drop our temperatures and it's going to feel a whole lot colder, especially compared to what we've been experiencing the past several days. Now here's your wind cast for the rest of today. And I do think the winds are going to stay about right around the 40 mile per hour mark, hopefully less than that, but luckily not as strong as we've seen in weeks prior. The timing of these peak wind gusts anytime from now to about nine o'clock. I do think they will start to die down overnight before they pick up once again tomorrow. Now tomorrow we are looking at those wind gusts only at about 35 miles per hour, so a little bit weaker than what we'll see this evening. So good news there. They will start to weaken all the way through Sunday, but still at a breezy level before dropping down by Monday. What about these rain chances that I'm talking about? This is showing five o'clock today. Not expecting a whole lot of activity, maybe a little sprinkle up on the mountains, but you can see most of the rain is going to stay off to our west for the rest of the evening, but it is going to inch closer and closer to our area. I do think overnight tonight, as most of us are sleeping, that's when we'll see a small chance of rain. And then by tomorrow morning, more rain chances across the I-10 corridor, Luna County up towards Sacramento Mountains, and you can see even some snow expected for the highest elevations. So we're not expecting a whole lot of activity, but the chance is there. And then looking ahead, Friday morning, cold front will be moving through the area that will drop our temperatures about 15 degrees. So today we're in the upper 70s. We're looking at low or mid 50s for Friday and the next couple days after that got to stay up to date with our weather information as a lot of changes are expected. So keep the warm clothes handy, excuse me, for the next couple days. Avoid the roads if it does rain or at least give plenty of space between your car and the one in front of you. Here's a look at your 74 cast sponsored by Mattress for Men. You can see that first alert right now. We're keeping it through Friday. As you can see that 15 degree temperature drop between Thursday and Friday. Rain chances stick around through Thursday. Breezy conditions through Saturday. A lot going on, but we will warm up eventually, but not until the start of the next work week mark.